Hello friends, Pat here. This video is not going to be, what would you call, an educational video. Or maybe it is, maybe it is, I, I, I don't know. You, you, you'll have to tell me in the comments below what you think of this video. I'm thinking it's gonna be kind of like a vlog to let you guys know where I'm at and what the plan is ahead. Um, and this comes ahead of, well, Zen 3 plus this uh, AMD graphics card right here. So if you're interested in computer tech, then watch on. If you want to learn about something else, then move on or jog on as they say. Why am I doing it this way? First of all, I wanted to show that I have painted this wall. <laughs> if you haven't seen my, uh, I guess, studio tour, then you'll notice there's the hole over there. It's now fully fixed. I've nicely painted it. I filled the wall and it looks good now. So I can do a bit of a shot towards the computer from the camera. And I'm facing a bit of a problem in reviewing this uh, 5600, XT from AMD. Uh, let's have a quick talk about this one. It is six gigabytes GDDR6. It's not HBM2, like some of the other AMD cards, which is okay. And it's PCIe 4.0. Now, if you've watched um, the weekly Saturday, six o'clock Western Standard Time, eight o'clock Eastern Standard Time show that myself and Casper do, you'll know that we discussed the whole PCIe 4.0 issue uh, then. Uh, basically, AMD seems to be the only one who has PCIe 4 on their motherboards, while the new 10th gen Intels do not um, on the motherboards. So that's problem number one. And I was hoping to order a whole new motherboard uh, and CPU, and guess what? After three years or two generations, I was going to go AMD. But I didn't end up going AMD, so, well, not yet anyway, because I am going to wait for Zen 3. So, I have to do a review of how well this 5600 XT performs. My first idea was to use a test bench, so I ordered some parts from Amazon, uh, Amazon, and then I had to get some other parts from PLE, all good. But the Amazon parts, the most important parts, have not arrived. So, let me just move the camera down and join you on the floor in a second. Hello. Come here often. Well, to the ground anyway. Low down. This is the computer that served me well for about three and a half years. I haven't done any particular big upgrades to it. And every three or four years, I go, okay, this is the time to upgrade my uh, gaming PC and my editing PC. Now, since going a little bit sort of further with YouTube, I haven't really played many games and it's sort of become my editing PC. So when you decide between Intel and AMD CPUs, if you don't play that many games, you might actually look towards AMD because even though AMD's performance on single core, which really affects gaming, isn't as good as Intel, and that's why they're sort of the king of gaming, you'll actually find that AMD's range of processors with the amount of cores they have will perform much better at things like editing, streaming, and a whole bunch of other things that don't really need to go into now. So my problem is that I've built this machine, I've set it up with a water loop, and uh, if we want to go through it a little bit, we've got a radiator with four fans. It's quite long, I think it's 90 centimeters. And then we've got the water going to a pump and reservoir combo, and then it goes to a graphics card, and then it goes to the CPU, which is an OC cool. And I want to change that, I don't really like it, but in any case, and it goes back to the um, radiator here to cool over. So it pumps the cool water, da 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 da, in through the thing. That's how a loop works, therefore, hence the name loop. Problem is, I can't add a graphics card to it. This is my most powerful CPU. It's a Core i7700, and I can't really add the 5600 XT because, and let me get this out of the box first, because I think this looks cool, and I'm really considering not doing a water loop in my next build, but I've got all these parts, and the good thing about water loops, or sort of the, I suppose, the parts of a water loop, is that you can kind of use it with any build. When you replace your build, it's not like you have to get a whole new mounting bracket, except obviously the CPU, because most of the brackets or the screws for the water cooling loop are exactly the same. Now, unless they're damaged, you know, that's an issue. So let's have a look at this card. I really wanted to do this video about this card. It's a free cooler design. You know what? Let me bring the camera closer. Let's all join together. Now, I know most of your comments are gonna be clean your desk pat because it's really messy, but all I have to say to that is, mind your own business. 
In any case, if you're asking about the little cushy bits here, my dog decided that now it's scared of rain and scared of wind, so it needs to sleep under my desk. So I've put the bed under there because it's otherwise it's uncomfortable and there's too many cables there. I don't want the dog getting hurt. So let's have a look at the card. Okay. Well, first thing that jumps out at me is the fact that there is an extension of the cooling grills all the way right here. All the way here, all the way here. You've got the copper cables, cables, copper pipes. There's three of them. Uh, and you can see they all go through the fins here and the fan extends all the way across. So let's, let's take off this plastic. By the way, big thanks to AMD, of course, and PR Galeria for sending this card through for review. I was so excited to hear about it because I think it's a really good budget entry, uh, like mid-range card that will serve you really well in the future, uh, especially with some new games like Cyberpunk coming out. Um, it has some cool things which we'll discuss in the actual full review. This is not going to be the full review, but it is a three cooler design and they look real. There's a lot of fins there, so it's going to move a lot of air. I wonder what the acoustics are going to be like. It is also very thick. It's got a three. Three, no, two and a bit, I would say three, because you need to give clearance to the actual uh, fans. But it is got only a single eight pin. This one here is a 1080 Ti. It has a eight pin and a six pin. So this is draws a lot less power, which is cool. Um, we have on the back a shroud, uh, which a lot of cards don't come with shrouds these days. I don't, I don't know if people notice, but not a lot do. Now they do like the newest ones. So I'm really happy for this range to actually have it. And on the front, Let's have a look what actual uh, connections we have. Oh, they've got nice little covers. Uh, so we won't take them all off. <clears throat> Actually, we will. So we've got three display ports, one HDMI, and uh, that's it. Nothing else. So no mini or no, I suppose, uh, what's the other one people have? It's like a uh, oh, USB-C. So I'm seeing USB-C on the latest graphics cards now. Uh, what else can I say about the card? Obviously, things light up, and uh, that's it. So. Problem number one, I need to test this card with this computer. So what can we do? What can I do? Especially because Amazon ordering is very slow at the moment. I could potentially get a PCIe uh, Express extension cable and use it in here. That was my first idea, but I've also really, well, also remembered how finicky those cables are and how weak they are. So what we're gonna do is first of all, just gonna place that there carefully. We're gonna turn this computer off and then we're gonna try and remove that PCI extension from the bottom. I gotta be really, really careful. They are finicky. They will die with the slightest bend. I have found that out very carefully uh, because last time I've replaced that cable twice now and they're all 48 to 50 to 60 dollars depending what day of the year you buy them on. Bear with us. Thanks for coming back. So let's take this glass off which is not actually glass and by the way if you're ever going to get this case make sure you get the one with the glass because this this plastic gets really bad after a few years i actually looked for an upgrade kit you could get a glass thing from the us if you were to buy it it costs 560 dollars where 180 dollars of that is just shipping everything else trying to buy it. actually shipping was more expensive than the item um, but that's because it's from the u and a s and obviously shipping glass. First of all, it's heavy and it's got metal parts in it. Um, that's always an issue. So I don't want to break it, but I'm keen on getting something else. Yeah, let's, let's hope that doesn't fall. This is absolutely dusty. The water is dirty. Uh, this needs a whole clean. So maybe I'll have to do a video about cleaning it. Uh, as you can see, there's just dust area. This does need a rebuild, not necessarily a replacement, but a rebuild would be nice nonetheless. So this right here, actually, this is the wireless. I don't think you guys can get these. I mean, I think you can, but I don't know if any of the new HTC Vibes can do this. This is a wireless uh, antenna for the HTC Vive, the original one. Um, and this lets you basically play without wires. It does go to this little, um, little one here, which I can unplug and we'll have to unplug because we can't use that. Uh, and works really well, really well. Apparently it doesn't work well with AMD, but hey, who's counting, right? All right, so this is the power we need. So we're gonna unplug that. 
very carefully the six pin and I'm gonna uh, unplug the eight pin too uh, because well we only need the eight pin but I don't know how far <laughs> crap I don't think this will extend very far this is gonna be really janky I, how am I gonna power the anyway all right now apparently I tested this a little bit earlier I think I can get this undone there you go that is the hate the PCI Express cable being undone very carefully. And we're just gonna lower that out. Look at that, oh, thermal take, oh, th I don't, do you know why I bought thermal take? I don't know why, I could have bought anybody else's, but I just, I wanted something that works. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I, I, I get the irony in that because it broke twice. The first thermal take that came with the case broke, then I bought another one which was not thermal take and it broke within a week. It's these pins here, they're very weak and you've got to bend them at weird angles. So then we're, what we're gonna do is, because I need the card, let's bring the card over here. I need the card to sort of be close to the power. So can I fit that in there? <laughs> yeah, it's not gonna work. <laughs> uh, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in and then see where I can maneuver this. I think the card is gonna to have to be hanging here somewhere on an angle. And then maybe if we get the power, actually, I think we can do this. Hang on, I'm gonna to have to bend this a little bit. I'm regretting this already. This is a very regretful. I, I'm worried that something's gonna break. Water's gonna burst. Let's put that back in. Okay, so that's back in. Now we can potentially, if we just sort of... Oh, see, that's the thing, this, 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 this water one is in the way, and I don't know what I can do with it, but and I need to have the graphics card over here. So, all right, this is so janky. This is so janky, okay. <gasps> can we do it like this? Are we gonna be able to do it like this? I think we are, we're gonna hang it like that. Now. I need something to prop it up. Now, I've just been redoing my garage and I got some massive 2.8 meter props. That's not gonna help here. I can't pull this out any further. So the card's gonna go this way, but I need something to hold it up. Oh, my friend, my dear, dear friend. <laughs> this is such a bad idea. All right, so I bought this off Amazon for a little while back to hold this fat, this, this fan, oh not this fan, sorry, this microphone here. And what if I hang it with string from here? <laughs> uh, hang on, gotta go get some string. If you ever hear the word janky, I want you to think of this very moment because I've got rope and I'm going to tie this graphics card like this. So it kind of hangs a little bit off, plugged in, and then the power cable is gonna reach uh, maybe not even a reach here but oh no 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 sir <laughs> I have an X power extension uh, I oh now I don't know which one I can plug in but let's say it's um, you can do it you can do it yes <laughs> this is so bad okay so we've got power we have eight pin power I think I'm gonna get in trouble with somebody. Somebody's gonna get me in trouble. But you know what? You know what? I like to solve problems. I like to honestly just solve problems. All right, we've got power. And now, I just, I guess I just need to put this in like that. And then, now, looking at the way this is designed, this can carry a lot of weight. So what we're going to do is we're gonna use the string right here, the rope. Not string, it's rope. Let's let's be very clear about that. Let's. If you ever think to do this, I highly do not recommend it. Okay, that's in. My graphics card is in. And then what I'm going to do is put this through like so. Okay, so that's tied around. There we go. That's solid. That's holding the weight. That's not bent too badly. Let's use this to sort of grapple the weight. <laughs> Uh, there you have it my friends, there you have it. If you've ever wondered what janky is, this is janky. <laughs> Jesus Christ. 
Honestly, I, I don't know. Do you, shall we? All right, let's boot it up. Let's see if it runs. Let me just press the button. It's got power, it's got everything. Let's do this. Why the fan's not spinning? <laughs> All right, tell me honestly, who voted this wasn't going to work? Tell me in the comments, this wasn't going to work. But look, there you have it. It's, um, it's a little bit stretched. I don't know if you can see it on the video there, but it's a little bit weird because obviously it's a new graphics card. We need to install the drivers and then we need to, uh, yeah, get excited. I know it looks bad, but it works. The fans aren't supposed to spin until it gets, you know, powerful. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to install the drivers. Let's have a look at that. And then I'm going to give you guys a review. Uh, I'm going to give you guys some stats and obviously some results from some tests compared to the 1080 Ti. And I'll also have a GTX 760 to compare to. Uh, I don't have any 2060s or 2080s to compare to, but what I'm going to give you guys is a result of the games we're going to play and some basic tests through Firestrike, which I do have the 3D Mark software to do so. Thank you very much for joining me on this vlog. I hope it was a little bit entertaining. I, I, I went into this not planning to do it, but my sort of mantra is just get it done, Pat. Just get it done. Catch you all later. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe, and I look forward to doing the uh, actual. And I'm going to buy the Zen 3. So look out for a review and overview of that. Thanks for watching. Bye.